the lane starts to go a little bit badly for him, he's still going to be able to keep his farm up. Whereas for the Centaur, if he doesn't do as well in the lane, his 2017 is keeping him pretty far away right now. The Centaur really can't do more of the same. Uh, Merlin is going to be the first blood here. Easily taken by Layla. And they're starting to chase down the Dazzle as well. So he's just going to have to be pretty naked going for this one as Ifrit will regen, waiting for that creep wave to arrive. And we should see Sand King try to go for this gank. Another Meepo available for Ifrit. This should definitely be a kill. CC has seen a lot of trouble. Poof is there. That's an easy one for Ifrit. So that all the damage that he took in that fight is not going to really bother him at all. Blitz with the smoke over to bottom. Maybe he tries to put some damage onto the axe, but again with the okay double damage rune on derp derp it's not going to be regening the mana any longer but again it's going to have to be very careful but ccnc actually gets a kill on the ifrit surprisingly in the mid lane looks like he wanted to you know, give a little bit back looking for some spins on the cap but cap is going to let's be a little bit too far away from 2017 i think that the axe should die here um he's trying to cut through the trees with the tangos and he's going to be able to make it out can cap actually find him has a double edge and he's gonna be able to get the kill kill himself with the creeps there but oh well Ifrit still doing okay in the mid lane. They're trying to get some rotations over to him. They did focus a lot of their attention in the early game onto him, especially with their wards inside of the jungle. Ifrit in a lot of trouble now, though. They are going to jump onto him with the ball, and he does manage to get the net off. He's trying to turn this around, and Derp Derp will be able to secure the kill with the Burrow Strike. Merlini shows up to the mid lane as well. Looks like he wants in on the action. Ifrit ready with some space to top. One of his dragon lands is up, and he gets the poof in. CC and C tries to TP out, but can easily be taken by this one. KVH does get the tower at bottom. They're trying to go on to him, but the Chaotic Offering gets run out on the two. Here comes the charge in from Capitalist. He's trying to get the stomp in the double edge. Should be a very dead troll warlord. Um, not quite getting with the level two double edge, but still the Fatal Bond's doing a lot of work, and Dazzle nearly killed off by it. Magic one being delivered to him. Still looking for that initiation on the mid. Merlini and Cap just waiting up there. Oh, Cap, he's got the... Okay, nice communication for the swap into the stomp. But 2017 needs to get a good call off, but he's already wasted it. Didn't use the blink first. Got that canceled. At least they keep Derp Derp alive. Meanwhile, Ifrit, oh, beautiful combo with the troll warlord, giving him the battle chance to be able to um, get some more... Uh, attack speed while killing the Storm Spirit. They get Dazzle, but he's not really taking a whole lot of damage, and they're going to get the Heal Bomb on the Axe, killing him off there. Now Dazzle can definitely be free to use the Child Grave. Dirt Drip in the trees gets a nice triple Burrow Strike from the trees, and they're going to be able to get a triple net as well. If it's going hand, they're going to finish off this full five man team. I very. Oh, can Cap get out? No. Insta Bash from KVH. Almost thought he had a chance there, but that's going to be a full five man team up on Veggies, and they'll take that advantage and run right into the Roshan pit. 12 seconds, but they're going to scout CC and C as he looks to try to get into the battle. Just leave these heroes in there for now. KVH healing up with the Shadow Word, but that's a little bit too early for Storm Spirit, and he gets netted immediately when he goes in. Those doing a lot of scattering work, and that's going to be the Aegis going the way of Ifrit. They use the Battle Trance for it, which means that they're not going to have it for a tier 3 push, but they could definitely go for it with this Creep Wave. And it is time for uh, Veggies to defend this pretty hard. There's a blink in with a call from 2017. Cap in some trouble. Will be netted there. He doesn't get a chance to get the stomp up with a beautiful burst strike in from um, the Sand King. Let's trying to get into it. They're going to send Tarts Charge back in. Swap back onto Ifrit. But that's a Meepo and he's pretty tanky at this point. Lots of stacks. Uh, on to him. Nice uh, call on the backside with 2017. On the two. They're looking for the burst. Strike into E at the center combo. They only take down the axe so far, popping the shrine. Buybacks galore from Dazzle. I guess this is their last stand, honestly, for veggies. We're only 17 minutes in, but I guess it's that time of day. Ifrit healed up a little bit with the Shadow Word, but it's not going to be enough. Now they're still trying to defend him. KPH throws out the slow, and they're going right for the Storm Spirit. CC and Cena, a lot of trouble. Does get grave. There's no axe here. Ifrit nearly killed and will be killed by Merlini. KVH is going to be falling as well. Derp, derp. Although there is vision of him, is going to end up falling. So that's a lot of buybacks used. I'm not even sure if that was worth it at all for veggies, but 
Oh well, they keep their tier 3 tower alive and they find Layla over to the side. Poor guy, honestly. Warlock not having fun after that magic missile stopping the TP. Still, and Roshan also hasn't respawned yet either. They do see Meepo over at top, but they are actually going to go for him. CCNC chasing out Ifrit, and they're going to pull him right in. Merlini with some damage. They've managed to do a huge amount to the Meepos, and we'll be able to get Ifrit. Will be another TP to bottom the Crystal Maiden here to help out. And another one over to the Shrine. Um, Dazzle shows up, and it's definitely time for the Axe to back up. Looking for the ball in again. CC in, and that's uh, okay. He's going to try to TP away through the epicenter, but he's out of mana now. Cap comes in with a great zone on the backside, and there's going to be the Karak offering actually hitting on the four there. Not a great fight at all for Veggies. Losing their Storm Spirit there. Um, Derp Derp about to die to Blitz's. Crystal Maiden Ultimate, and KVH getting low as well. It's going to be the Dazzle ult keeping Blitz alive. Also swapping on the 2017, he gets a call on the two, looking for some dunks. There could be only one. Just kidding, no dunks at all. So that really didn't look like a good fight at all for Veggies. And then we'll move on towards bottom. Axe is always oh, going to throw the dust out on the Merlini. And the charge will get him away. Burrow strike off the mark. Merlini stepping away very quickly. There might not be... Oh no, he's got the call right next to him. Uses the Shadow Blade to get out, but they're still... Okay, uses it just as that dust expires. And Merlini actually wants to go back in with the break on the Axe. Axe in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have spins either. He's actually going to fall off of that. Meanwhile, Roshan is still being taken by Ifrit. Seeing what he can do. And he's going to take it very low. Is he actually going to be able to get it down? Blink Dagger available for Centaur. And Cap goes right in. Damage to Ifrit. And he's going to die after that. Even though he gets the net off. And that's an easy Roshan for Veggies. Well, some would say that they're not really taking this too seriously. But they are keeping themselves in this match. And taking a couple of important kills here. Except from the push at the top. Derp Derp's there. Is he actually going to break anything? Um... Cap has not been seen yet. Nobody's had their smoke broken. Now it's going to break. 2017, all right. They've not found him just yet, but CCNC is eventually going to find the Meepo. Oh, that's a big kill for them. They would love to get that Meepo, but here comes the, the poof in. One of them has turned into a pig thanks to the Lotus Orb. Payak often did hit onto a few, but CCNC is being kept alive. Blitz will die, and there's a lot of damage coming through thanks to the epicenter. Nearly killing CCNC. They do manage to get him. And, well, Cap is not going to be able to get away with the ambitious TP. Can Dazzle get away? It looks like he can, actually. Against a Meepo. If he's allowed to get some sustained damage on you and you can't kill him fast enough, it's definitely not very, looking very good. Merlini with the Wave of Terror. They could definitely initiate onto this. Blink into a Burrow Strike from Dirk Dirk. They're going to be able to find Merlini, and they get the call onto him. Doing a lot of damage there and very difficult to take down. Are they going to be able to react? They get to stomp out onto KVH, and Layla's there with the upheaval, slowing them down. KVH in the large world is going to be able to BKB, but here comes Meepo and a beautiful call on the three, all attacking the axe. She's in the large world, but here comes a dunk right when that child grave is there. If you're in a large trouble, thanks to the Crystal Maiden Ultimate, they'll try to turn it against Capitalist. Uh, the stomp is not going to be on the mark, but here comes CCNC. They're taking a great fight. Buyback for out by the Sand King, but he's not actually going to be able to do anything here. And the creep wave is starting to push in a little bit more, going right towards the mid lane. Veggies take a great fight. I don't think we all should know exactly where Veggies went, but the problem is, are they actually going to be able to stop them? Veggies will be able to take this Roshan very low. Troll getting into the pit. Nice epicenter into the Karak offering. Roshan is dead to the dire and Aegis is still on the ground. Nobody's picked it up yet. It's just lying there. Nobody has the inventory slots where Karak offering is going to come through as well. Um, from That was a refreshed Karak offering from Layla. Still had enough money to buy that up. And eventually the Aegis was picked up by Merlini. If it's very low, they are not killing him just yet. But CCC goes back in the pit for that purpose. He'll die as a result, but Merlini's got more than enough damage to do this one. Derp Derp in some trouble as well. He's going to die. That's four dead near the Roshan pit. And they spent a lot of buybacks for this one. Merlini might even just be able to push this in now. It's the catapult with him. And with all the plus armor on Veggies, it's not really 
a good idea to try to initiate into this at all. So, this Aegis, she's accidentally picked up by CC, and he's going to give it over to one of the supports. And look at this initiation. They're trying to go onto um, the Centaur, nearly killing off Capitalist, but they've got the Warlord and the Warlock now. A beautiful freezing field from Blitz, and they're going to kill off literally everything and everybody. Buyback from Ifrit. It's going to take four buybacks here. Literally every single one of them going in, except for KVH. Blitz already used the freezing field, but he still has the BKB. He didn't even have to use Use that for that fight. Nobody dies on the side of Veggies, and Axe is not going to be able to get back in this one. Throwing out a couple of nets. Veggies, I guess they're trying to win it. They're going to go for the racks right now. They take them down very quickly, and they're going to go right for bottom. Erlini takes it out just as fast. And swap in Ifrit is uh. Oh, looks like they're going to go even deeper for this one. Chaotic offering drop down. CC is in trouble, but he's still completely fine. He's got his BKB going. Meepo done for 120 seconds, and uh, GG called by Veggies. So, yeah, they're just going to let, uh... They're just going to let Wheels go on, even though they got absolutely wrecked that game. So, Wheels will make it into... Wheel, Brequal, Whistling will make it into the closed 